Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial, and today's review will be the end game episode seven. Let's get into it. So there's been a two week hiatus. I think they did a two week hiatus due to not wanting to compete with the viewership of the March Madness National um, NCAA Basketball Championship. Nevertheless, they're back. So before we get into it, subscribe to the channel, like the video. So if you've seen the trailer and you've been paying attention to the series, the trailer pretty much shows that someone's coming to kill um, Helena and you don't know who it is. So everybody in the picture that we all been following has pretty much been, their corruption has been found and they've been locked up. But there's one image of a person that you can't really see their face. This person is called the ghost, and this is basically who the person that he's, he put some type of electric device on the site where Elena is being held and took out the power. So it's about seven guards there. They were either injured or killed by him while he's infiltrating the building. Meanwhile, remember Helena, I uh, said so Helena, Elena's crew, two members of her crew was down in a basement where being captive or locked up. And they figured out that there's a power surge that comes through because there's some like a backup generator in a building. And it when it does shoot through, it does unlock their cell. So the FBI director is looking for the guns, but he can't get to them because it's um, the electricity. So he basically getting some type of weapon that he like a crowbar to defend himself. Meanwhile... Elena and Val are having their dialogue and a story to tell. So this story is about back in Reggio De um uh, Reggio De Nero in 2018. It shows Elena had a child. Remember they were showing a couple episodes ago where that she was pregnant. So she actually did have a child and Sergey was out doing whatever. And she was left with the child. So she was having trouble being a mom. Your baby was crying all the time. So she was out at a park somewhere. And this woman popped up out of nowhere to help her. Her name was Natalia. So she was telling Val, like, because Val was basically saying, you know, you must didn't have much friends. And she was like, I did have a friend. And I was, um, she caught me at a vulnerable time in my life. And then she proceeded to tell the story. And so while she's telling the story, Natalia uh, befriended her and started coming to the house. So automatically you knew this was a flag, that this was going to be a flag because she's coming to the house. So, of course, she was telling Sergey. And then when one of the times Sergey was on the phone with her, he told her, hey, that name, that was that person that you told me is not checking out. Be careful. So that made her raise the eyebrow so before that happened she gave natalia a ring that her mom that elena's mom gave her and she said i really appreciate this you know you helping me so what end up comes out sergey comes home early from business trip or wherever he was at and he already knew what was up so he pulled a gun out on her and Elena came in and she pulled a gun out on her as well. And they basically, she was saying she was going to kill them both at the same time. So she pretty much said, hey, I got 10 men outside. They'll come through and shoot everything. And pretty much, Sergey said he got 10 men as well. And it could be a shootout. And so, of course, the baby was there. Or the baby was asleep. So that woman stepped off. And then Elena basically apologized to Sergey, saying that, you know, she was vulnerable and... It's all her fault. It won't happen again. Meanwhile, that was the backstory. In present day time, you had the jail, Peak Skill Jail, um, where Sergey and uh, Owen is. And now they got a fire drill. And saying it was a fire in another part of the prison. So it put all the inmates in a certain area. And so. Sergey and Owen Presley say this is a setup and uh, that crony is going to try to make his move and which he did 
and he had a knife. Owen used his fight tactics and got over to the guy. He tried to stab Owen with a knife and Owen like strong armed him and kicked him. He flew, hit his neck on the table, he died. So now they figure they're gonna pit after investigation they're gonna pit Owen in a holding cell. And so Sergey was like, Now nah, don't worry, we'll be out of here in three three days and he pretty much said, Well, in three days I'll be in a holding cell. Back to the story at um where Elena was at. Anthony, meanwhile, has been trying to get in contact with Val. He knows something is off. They're looking at saying all the communications is off at that site. So Anthony is headed that way. Meanwhile, he's calling Dope. Dope is not answering. But you find out Dope is having um, dinner with someone that's connected to the president. And telling Dope, you know, basically, they got eyes on him and they want him to run um, a new operative. So, you know, his confidence is through the roof, but he blew Anthony off. Meanwhile, Anthony gets back to the uh, facility and he just goes in. At the time, you're thinking, well, dang, Anthony, you ain't gonna call for backup? And he just goes in. And when he gets in there, you don't find out that he called for backup until later. He had, they just didn't show him call for backup, but he did call for backup. So, of course, the guy goes, eventually comes through crawling through the vents and um they set off a bomb meanwhile the ghost had he wounded one of um elena's uh members of her crew he wounded one of them he's about to die but um the fbi director he was a med back in his day in the service and so he was able to save his life and of course, Elena and Val worked together to kill the ghosts. And after they got them, the um, FBI crew came in storming and saved the day. And Elena's um, crew member got the medical attention he needed to save his life. So that pretty much was the um, episode. However, it did end that the, um, the warden of the prison that sergey and owen is he's talking to somebody on the phone and they pretty much asking him it's a woman saying hey uh how's things going he said oh we just had a hiccup but things is going to go according to and you find out it's lady bella and that's Nat natalia who befriended Elena. So the plot gets uh, thicker and this was a good episode to add on to. And um, it has picked up. So it's going to be interesting. There's three episodes left, how it's going to play out. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said before, like the video till next time.